Hi guys, it's Hannah from Trek It and I'm here in our showroom in Hereford today to talk to you about how to lace your walking boots. Um, what I will aim to cover in this video is a really good benchmark uh, for how to lace your walking boots which should work for most people. Um, it's a really quick and simple thing to do and it's something we see people get wrong quite a lot of the time. Uh, incorrectly laced walking boots can cause uh, blackened toenails, blisters and in extreme cases can reduce the lifetime of your boots. So this will be the first video uh, in a theme of how to lace your boots. Um, we've got a couple other topics in the pipeline but if there's something that you want us to cover specifically then do let us know in the comments section below. Okay, so to start you'll need to untie your laces and loosen them right off, pulling them through the eyelets and all the way down to the bottom. Next, pop your foot in the boot and tap your heel right into the back. That way your foot is in the right position before we've even started to tie your laces. If your foot is even a few mil out of the heel cup when you lace them, then you'll always feel a little bit of slip. Now that bit of friction can lead to a blister on your heel. Now it's rare to get no movement whatsoever when you're walking, especially when you're, getting, uh, when you're going uphill, but anything less than half a centimeter is usually okay. So then position your foot and leg at a 90 degree angle. So this can be uh, done whilst you stood up uh, like I am now. So that's kind of, uh, that's how you do it if you were lacing your boots on a bench or um, at the back of your car. You could also get that 90 degree angle while you're sat down. Um, so starting from the bottom of the boot, pull your laces back through the eyelets towards the top of the boot. Uh, you don't want them so tight that they cut off circulation and cause discomfort, but you don't want them so slack that they will uh, not support your foot at all. So, a general rule of thumb is that you shouldn't be able to get your finger underneath the laces. So another good point just before we start to tie the laces is to make sure that the tongue is central and all tucked in. Now the cuff on this tongue is quite high but some of them start quite low so just making sure that that is all central and tucked in will stop water ingress, uh, debris ingress and is also just much more comfortable. Okay so if you can maintain that tension going through into the uh, lace loops at the top then great but for some people it may be beneficial just to pop a little knot in here. So this uh, point is where the diagonal tension will hold the heel in place. So next, moving up to the lace loops on the ankle cuffs. So pull the laces through the lace loops, uh, crossing them over after every one. Again, making sure they're tight, but not restrictive. So apply the same principle uh, as before and make sure you can't get a finger underneath those laces. Now before you start your loops at the top, I like to wrap the laces under and over twice. Now this was shown to me in a shoe shop when I was about eight and I've just never forgotten it. Uh, it just helps to stop the laces from slipping while you're tying the rest of the knot. Now you can just pop a standard double knot in here. Uh, another knot that works really well is a little uh, double wrap knot. You just wrap him round twice. Now that will not come undone for love nor money. Uh, but it means if you have to get them off quickly, uh, like in an emergency, um, or if you're wearing chunky gloves, then they come undone from this way really easily. So there we go guys, that is how to lace your walking boot. So that method ensures that you're really well supported so that you don't get any blisters uh, from friction in the heel cup and that you don't slip forward into your boots uh, on steep descents. Uh, providing that you're wearing the right size, of course, and also that you're wearing the correct socks. And if you have any other comments or questions, then do leave them in the comments section below and we will get back to you. Um, if you love the content that we're putting out, then do hit the subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. And while I have you here, I do recommend going and giving our how to um, fit your footwear at home video a quick watch just to make sure that you're wearing the correct size boots in the first place. And that's it from me, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.